Well, figured I'd make this video, show y'all a new project that I bought. This is a 2014-15 Sea-Doo Spark. All right, so. Yeah, I guess we gotta put a strap around the motor somehow. <sighs> Only thing we gotta do is lift it out and then well, we can take the cover. back the back cover off and then we'll see what the, you think we can pick it up by hand? Good. I think it's safer to put it on cherry picker. Yeah. You got to rock it up through the way and strap it. Yeah. All right, you want to lower it down? Just use the, the red bar here. We'll see if there's anything in there connected to it. Can't beat 600 bucks, man. Can't beat it. <laughs> Adopting somebody else's nightmare, but. Is that fuel? Yeah. Was. The whole thing's gonna have to be flushed anyways. <laughs> and see what I saw online, they were talking about taking this bolt out over here is either a bolt right here, which is kind of weird how that's already taken out. See, that's got a mud dauber nest in it. Mm -hmm. So it's either this one or this one. And they say you take it out and you put a longer bolt in it and you make sure number two cylinders on top dead center. This goes and locks your crankshaft. So then it's a locking pin. Uh, then you can put, you take this snout off on the end and you put a giant pipe wrench on it. And they say it's tightened at like 200 foot pounds of torque. So a, a five foot cheater bar and a pipe wrench and you just unloosen it typical you know it's not it's not left-handed thread so you're not like you know okay. turning it the wrong way right. so yeah she's a little bit up is she chewed up in there mm -hmm. damn it Ooh, yeah oh yeah yeah that is absolutely ruined so i guess that's the common problem for these so. What an what idiot design. Yep. They said that's what it is, so. That makes me feel better about the motor being good. Yeah. It really does. Yeah, I think it's got a little hours, too. Yep. I bet it died the first. It did die on the first yeah, year. The first it died the first year. Because the owner, the original owner, said it sat for like three years before he gave it to those people. And then those people just couldn't find nobody to fix it so it seemed like somebody tried to fix it maybe thought they had it fixed no and put the original the owner disassembled it i would have had 23 stickers on it. i think they bought five years worth of decal gotcha, gotcha. yeah but um what they said was the dude was military and then the military called him and said he had to go somewhere and then it just sat yeah. <clears throat> so it's an ace it's an ace is that good? Uh, I yeah. believe so. Okay. I believe they said that, that that was the better one, but That's cool. who knows? I'm sure you're probably older than you. Oh, still pretty no, shit, all that shit's getting, gonna be new. Yeah. That's... That boot is your secondary boot, and then there's the other boot, so all that all those have to be good. Yeah. So yeah, I literally bought this thing in pieces. So all this crap was sitting on top of it, and the jet ski was sitting in the woods. I'll show you a few pictures of what it looked like when we first went and looked at it. but it looks like it's in rough shape but i bet you with a little bit of clean a little bit of elbow grease we can get that thing we'll get the rest of it to look as pretty can't beat it for 600 bucks okay so we took the cover off the bolts came out pretty easy with eight millimeter and then put some light on the situation so since it's a 2014 they say that this is not threaded on you can kind of see the camera will focus you can kind of see a, a, a fingernail gap right there so i believe this collar is pressed on to a shaft that comes out of here if we look inside yeah well it's like it's made for a puller 
Yeah. Awesome. Different. They said something about heating it up and pulling it off. So I wonder if it's if it's I don't know. If it truly is pressed on, I don't see why you can't cut it off. You know? I don't see why you can't take a Dremel to the exterior of it up yeah. here and take the blade and you know, yeah. cut a relief cut in it yeah. and then take a pry bar and yeah. hit it. But I don't want to ruin it. <clears throat> I just need ruin to do a little crank, not knowing Yeah. If it's fixable a bit later yeah. on. Be the way that problem with the coupler which everyone has a problem with the coupler and um, I've seen a lot of jack leg fixes where they take this output shaft and they stick it in and then they weld it or they shove JB weld in there and they weld it and that will not work and the reason why it won't work is because you have rubber motor mounts and as you jump it and you turn the ski and the motor itself is going to move a little well when the motor moves a little the shaft this thing here it has to be able to move this little bit well when that can't happen you end up going to break your collar off the crankshaft i assumed they talked about the 2017s on these being a little bit different that they were threaded on and i assumed that these wouldn't really be manufactured to the crankshaft they would be pressed on well i'm incorrect there this is actually welded on to the crank so there's truly no way of fixing that um but i did find a company that you can send the crankshaft to and for like 425 dollars they'll send you one that they've already redone and you send them there yours as a core so the proper fix for 2014 15 you have to disassemble the engine and you have to replace the crankshaft there is no other way around it if you send your cedar spark to the mechanic and he tells you that it's going to cost you you know 2500 or four thousand dollars to fix that's really not out of the ballpark of realistic labor because you have to disassemble the entire engine. You have to buy a whole new gasket set. You got to put the engine back together. You got to send the crankshaft to a company. They're going to put it on a lathe. They're going to cut the end off of this. They're going to put the whole crank on a lathe and they're going to cut it right there where that is. And then they're going to put threads on it. Now, the 2017s, they have threads. So that's basically what they're doing. They're cutting that off. They're putting a, a basically a little stem on there. They're going to probably weld it on there or however they're going to fasten it to it. And then you have a piece of thread sticking out. And then you take the newer model 2017 couplers and you thread them on. And then you have a newer style engine. Or you can go straight to Bombardier and buy a 2017 or 18 crankshaft and put it in there. Which you're going to be like double or triple that amount. So I think the best bet is to send it off and have a, a company do it. Might be down a little while, but it's a project, so. Not typical for my normal videos, but something fun. Figured I'd carry it along with me. A lot of people on uh, YouTube, they're talking about shoving JB Weld in the hole and welding the shaft to it, and I just, I, no, no. Can't do that at all. No, 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 no. That is not how you fix something. Just jam it in there with some JB Weld. Those kids must have ate paint chips. But <clears throat> everything about the ski is structurally in intact and underneath it, there's no big gashes or nothing. It's just, it's literally sat <clears throat> in the woods for the last three years. So upon teardown, I'll, I'll see if there's any craziness going on in the motor. Um, I know this has probably been through three winters. So I want to make sure that if there was any water inside of the block, that nothing is fr fr had frozen hurt anything um i'll be able to check the cylinder walls um stuff like that I might do a leak down test on the cylinders to make sure that the rings are good but i've already put it in there and turned it with a pipe wrench and the motor has awesome compression so i don't feel like anything's bad with it so we're gonna go from there i'll let you know and fill you in and shoot another video as things go on and uh anybody who owns one of these things i feel bad for you but I actually bought mine with the problem, so I'm going to fix it. I'm going to fix it the right way, and I'll take you along the journey with me and uh, 
try to give you all the information that that I gather over this. That way, anybody else they don't have to to go through the pile of information that I'm having to go through to get this. So, stay tuned. Thanks for watching.